Hi, my buttercup. Do you want some bone broth too? Okay, I'll make you some. We'll put it in your in your bottle. Love you. What up guys, Elijah Bryant back with another video. Today I'm be making bone broth. A lot of you guys have been requesting to see this video, so first what you want to want to do is take the bones, the beef bones that you've gotten from the butcher, and it can be beef, chicken, or whatever. You're gonna take the bones and put them in a pan. With your carrots, your onions, garlic, and the bones. And then you're gonna roast them for 20 minutes. And after the 20 minutes, you're gonna take the bones out and put them in the pot. You're gonna put water in there along with parsley. Celery. Apple cider vinegar, uh, some, some Himalayan pink salt, and I like to put a cinnamon stick in there or two. I use filtered water or bottled water. Bring it to a low simmer. And after the low simmer, you're gonna let it sit for 12 to 24 hours, depending on how much time you have, or your preferred taste. Once you finish the bone broth, you're gonna take it and put it in a strainer, getting the fat off the top of it. And after you skin the fat off the top of it, it's like a lot of people like to use the cheesecloth, but here in Israel, I don't have a cheesecloth, or I don't know where to get a cheesecloth. you strain it in the jar this jar I'm gonna keep the one that I'm drinking for three to four days in that and the rest is gonna be in here and in the big one in the freezer which will last for up to a year The bone broth is only gonna last for three to four days in the refrigerator. Let's go through ingredients. So ingredients I use, I'll go through right now. Cinnamon stick, pink Himalayan salt, good old carrots, celery, apple cider vinegar. Adding the vinegar is important because it helps pull all the valuable nutrients out of the bones and into the water, which is ultimately what you will be consuming. All right, so you might be asking yourself, what exactly is bone broth? Bone broth is made by simmering the bones in connective tissues of animals. The highly nutrition, nutritionist stock is commonly used in soups, sauces, and gravies. It has also recently gained popularity as it helps. You can make bone broth using bones from just about any animal. Pork, beef, veal, turkey, lamb, bison, buffalo, venison, chicken, or fish. Bone broth is made by boiling down animal bones and connective tissue. This nutrient dense stock is used for soups, sauces, and health drinks. Now to the benefits of bone broth. Bone broth is rich in minerals that help build and strengthen your bone. It also contains many other healthy nutrients, including vitamins, amino acids, and essential fatty acids. It may benefit the digestive system. The gelatin in bone broth supports healthy digestion. 
It may be beneficial for individuals with leaky gut or other inflammatory bowel diseases. The amino acids in a bone broth can help fight inflammation. Because of this, eating it may help protect against diseases. Its nutrients have been shown to improve joint health. The amino acids in bone broth help support joint health and consuming it may help lessen the symptoms of arthritis. Collagen is the main protein found in bones, tendons, and ligaments. And you see all that stuff like, I have it right here. Vital protein collagen powder. That's a supplement form, but my thing is anything you can get from the herb food is 10 times better than vitamins supplements anything because it's natural and it's grown on our earth it's not in a factory it is a weight loss friendly it's very low in calories but can still satisfy hunger the gelatin and bone broth has been shown to promote feelings of fullness consuming it on a regular basis may reduce calorie intake and lead to weight loss over time personally you guys see my breakfast i do three eggs with a cup of bone broth and it's super filling. Like you don't even feel like you need to eat anything else. So I've definitely noticed a difference and I've probably only been doing it for like two weeks. It may improve sleep and brain function. Glycine has been shown to promote sleep. Taking it before bed may improve quality of sleep, mental function, and memory. Yeah, so I don't, I sometimes I drink it before sleep, but I haven't noticed a big difference. I, I can do my sleep night routine if you guys want me to do that. Um, just let me know in the comments or DM me or something. Yeah, that is bone broth. I enjoy it. It's it's an acquired taste. It's not always good, but I've noticed since adding the cinnamon and roasting the vegetables, it's tasted a lot better. The cinnamon kind of kind of gives it a little different taste, not so much like bone brothy, I would say. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more healthy tips or what I do behind the scenes in terms of diet, health, stretching, any of that stuff please let me know in the comments. If you haven't joined our email newsletter, please follow that in the description um, just to get updated when we post new recipes and new tips and tricks of what we're doing and stuff like that. Thanks for watching.